You know, I keep thinking about how awesome it is that Jesus calls us friends. Because, I mean, most famous people do not have the time of day for me or, my, or any of us, right? If I even tried to say hello to them, I, I would clearly be an unwelcome interruption in their life. Or I would be, you know, work for them, having to keep up appearances and all that. But if I want to go and spend time with Jesus, Jesus would jump up and down and start doing a happy dance, flossing or dabbing or something like that, just to make it clear that he's so excited to be spending time with me. But I also keep thinking about what it means to be Jesus' friend. You see, I know exactly what Jesus loves doing. It's not that hard to figure out. Read the Gospels, you'll find it out. Uh, Jesus loved partying, first of all, definitely. Remember, people called him a lush and a drunkard, after all. Um, But more important than partying and having fun was caring for others, showing each other love, noticing who was overwhelmed and giving them aid, seeking out those who have broken hearts, befriending the people no one liked and everyone thought was unlikable. What brought Jesus more joy than anything else was giving people who felt unloved or like they'd lost everything they loved or who didn't know how to love, giving them love, giving them his love. Jesus' life, Jesus' joy in life was filling in the gaps that our lives left from our self-centeredness and failure to open our hearts to others. That's what Jesus loves doing. And he makes this his most central command, right? Love one another as I have loved you. Love each other with the same love that I give you. To be Jesus' friend, remember we talked, a friend is someone who chooses to spend time with each other, who enjoys doing the same things. To be Jesus' friend is to spend time with Christ, to enjoy doing the same things that Jesus enjoys. And again, like I said, Jesus makes What gives him joy perfectly clear? You are my friends if you do what I command. Because my friends are the ones who enjoy doing the same thing I do, who enjoy spending time the same way I enjoy spending time, who want to spend time with me as much as I want to spend time with them. And the things I'm doing, the things that give me joy, could be summed up simply as giving others love. And then I think about what I choose to do with my life versus what Jesus enjoys doing. And I'm sure you're like, but you chose to be a pastor. Come on. Total Jesus friendship circle right there. Let me tell you, just because someone's a pastor doesn't mean they have the exact same values Jesus does. But even for us who try... I know my choices aren't often spending time with Jesus. I mean, for one, I choose a whole lot of screen time. Um, I, know, I know some of you do that as well. Um, not that Jesus wouldn't do screen time, but I do a lot of screen time that's just about me. Watching my favorite shows, playing my favorite video games, working on my family genealogy. I, I wonder the number of hours I spend each week on a screen that is only about self-love and nothing else. And let me be clear, I ain't saying that Jesus is against self-care. He, he'd go spend whole nights in the mountains by himself doing self-care. It was important. But Jesus would never have spent the majority of his time indulging in himself. I also listen to a lot of podcasts. Now, this is time that tends to be much better on the things Jesus might do scale. Podcasts keep me informed. They allow me to learn valuable information. They help me decide ways to prioritize how I'm going to work for justice each week. Important stuff. But I know I spend a lot more time on podcasts than are needed, especially compared to the amount of time that I invest in relationships. I love relationship time, but oh, I really love podcast time. I keep going, but that's not really the point. The point is, I wonder what each of our lives would say about what we think it means to be Jesus' friend. 
Is Jesus the type of friend that you call once or twice a year just to see how they're doing? Or is Jesus that friend that you hang out with once or twice a month? And it's a wonderful time together, but he's not really an important part of your life otherwise. Is Jesus the friend that you spend time with mostly by happenstance? You know, those friends that you have because you're just always in the same place, um, like a teammate who you wouldn't be friends with anywhere else, but when you're out playing sports, you're friends with them? Is Jesus the type of friend who is only your friend in one certain particular part of your life? Like, say, Sunday mornings and when you're in prayer time and nowhere else? Is Jesus the friend you spend time with every day? And let me be clear, I don't just mean the person you talk to every morning, every evening, because I know prayer time, yes, it is important for sure. What a friend we have in Jesus, right? That him, there to bear all our sins and griefs. But Jesus isn't just a listen to all my troubles person, because that's not a friend, that's a therapist. Jesus is an all about, Jesus is all about doing time, loving one another time, going out and caring time, helping each other time, loving the unloved time. Is Jesus the friend you hang out with at every opportunity? The type you might call your BFF, that you make intentional regular time for and jump at every chance you have to be together? Is that the type of friend you have in Jesus? Honestly, I bet few of us could really claim that Jesus is that type of friend. We do turn to Jesus really well for therapy, and we hapstance time with Jesus on Sunday mornings. And maybe once in a while, we really dive into this friendship. But when we do, it's almost more like taking a vacation together with an old friend, more than a friend that you make time for every single day. As I said, most of the time, I don't think we really choose Jesus. But the miracle that we hear today is that Jesus chooses us. Jesus chose to be friends with you. Even though you may not have the same priorities, even though you may not enjoy doing all the same things that Jesus enjoys, even though you spend tons of time doing things Jesus would never do, Jesus still chooses you. And Jesus chooses to spend time with you, even while you're doing those things that aren't really that important to him. Because you're important to Christ. Think about how crazy that is. I mean, sure, occasionally I will go and see my friends' sporting events or something, even though I don't really care to watch sports, honestly. I mean, playing them is fun, but watching them is just boring. And there comes a point when I tell my friends, you know, I love you. It's awesome you enjoy doing this, but if you don't mind, I'm going to go find something more interesting to spend my time doing. I know there are parents who wish they could say that once in a while. I love you, but mommy needs a Mother's Day off. Mommy or mama or dad, I can support you today, okay? But for Jesus, everything is interesting when you're involved because you are what gives Christ joy. For Jesus to choose you, that also means more than simply enjoying time with you. It also means, we talked about trust was one of those features of a friend. It also means that Jesus trusts you with what's important to you. Like BFFs who share secret and let's, secrets and let each other know, that know each other in ways that no one else does. Sometimes even in ways that their own spouses don't know them. Jesus says, I call you friends. Because I have made known to you everything that I've heard from my Father. I've told you everything I'm about, and I trust you. I trust you to help me achieve my dream for humanity, to share the kingdom of God. Now talk about friendship right there. Jesus trusts me to show heaven to others like he's shown heaven to me. Now there's trust. Let me tell you. I mean, Jesus, you are crazy. I mean, you, you can trust me with giving money to feed those who are hungry, but to be part of this work of salvation, of bringing in the kingdom of God, of bringing in God's reign, you got the wrong guy. I bet you you feel that, don't you? And then Jesus replies, nah, 
no, no, I don't think so. When I choose a friend, I know what I'm doing. I've chosen to make you my friend. To each of you today, that is what Christ says. You may not always have the exact same priorities than me. You may not do things always in the perfect way. But I know a friend when I see one. And I choose to be your friend. I choose to make you my friend. And I trust you with the ministry that I began. But don't worry if that sounds really big, okay? Christ says, I'm your friend, and I will be with you every step of the way. What a friend we have in Jesus, and how amazing it is to be Christ's friend.